Reducing herd size has been one solution for cattlemen dealing with drought. That meant tough decisions, especially when cows all seem like keepers. But some producers are turning to commercial DNA to add more information to that culling process. Let's say I've got 100 heifers, but I only want to keep 50 of them. Uh, we gene max those heifers and, and we keep the top 50% or, or maybe it's the top 25%. But again, knowledge is power. And, and to have for $17 a head to be able to know what are your top heifers on the basis of marbling and performance and the composite score, that's powerful information. And that's information that'll help our, our producers make strategic decisions that'll help them make more money in the future. As a seed stock producer, Gardner says it's imperative to educate customers about that test because it's one tool they can use during drought as an opportunity to make herd improvements. My dad always said good, good genetics don't cost, they pay. And, and I very much believe that. And, and really, in, in all seriousness, now is the time down to bear down more than ever before on the best genetics. Marketed by Certified Angus Beef and Angus Genetics, Inc., the GeneMax test also offers a kind of paternity test or sire matching if the bull battery has been Zoetis HD 50K tested. We can keep heifers out of those bulls that are particularly strong in the maternal traits, such as maternal cabinies, uh, milk production, heifer pregnancy, as well as growth and carcass merit so that we can just make sure that the very best replacements possible out of our pool are going to rebuild our herd. Gardner says making DNA technology available to commercial cattlemen is a boon to the industry. This is one more tool that we can put in our toolbox. We can have information to make decisions with. And that's what the association does so well is arming us with those tools that help us make good decisions. I'm B.J. Scott.